Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gershwan, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today, we continue talking about the Imperium of Man as we talk about standard template constructs, STCs. If you guys have any other suggestions for other topics of Warhammer 40K that you guys would like us to create a video about, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because we post Warhammer 40K content every single day. With that said, let's get into 40 facts about STCs. An STC system was an advanced, artificially intelligent computer created during the Dark Age of Technology, said to have contained the sum total of human scientific and technological knowledge. STC stands for Standard Template Construct. The STC was invented when human interstellar civilization was at its technological peak. Introduced during the Dark Age of Technology, before the Age of Strife, the STC system was possessed by every group of human interstellar colonists, allowing them to build all equipment necessary for survival on an untamed colony planet. STC systems possessed the ability not just to store information, but also to produce new designs to meet changing circumstances. It enabled the colonists to build efficient shelters, generators, and transports without any technological knowledge and using almost any locally available material. The user simply asked how to build a house or a tractor, and the computer supplied all necessary plans in the form of holographic schematics. The rare complete STC library is said to contain the total sum of all knowledge possessed by the greater human interstellar civilization that existed before the onset of the Age of Strife. But as the technological level needed by the majority of the human population at that time was simple, most STC systems were for producing relatively unsophisticated technology like threshing machines and simple transport aircraft not warp energy taps or holographic field emitters. Very few examples of STC schematics for the more advanced devices has ever been found. The STC system themselves worked by providing a holographic format, the full schematic for a machine, device, or vehicle according to the given needs of the user. This resulted in the production of some extremely sturdy, functional designs still found throughout the Imperium. Examples of STC technology still in use are the Rhino Armored Personnel Carrier and the Land Raider. Since no confirmed reports of a fully functional STC library has ever been made since the Dark Age of Technology, the full nature and contents of the STC and what technological secrets and wonders it may contain remains unknown. Although the most advanced technological information eludes the Adeptus Mechanicus in the age of the Imperium, through their efforts, much has been either recovered or reconstructed through the comparison of copies of STC databases already held by the tech priests of Mars. Recovered STC data eventually led to the ability of the Imperium to construct such mighty vehicles as the Land Raider and rediscover STC designs served as the basis for all other imperial technological advancements. While the STC would prove to be the crown jewel of human technological achievement, it would also lead to the loss of the same knowledge. The Men of Iron, artificial intelligence constructs created by humans to fight their wars and carry out tasks that might otherwise risk a human life, eventually turned on their masters. This machine rebellion sparked a major war within humanity that would see much of the advanced interstellar human civilization that flourished during the Dark Age of Technology destroyed and lost. This war occurred early in what was later named the Age of Strife, though it is unclear whether it came before or after the catastrophic warp storms that destroyed the earliest interstellar human empire. After mankind's downfall and the following years of deep technological neglect and regression, it became very rare for an intact STC database to be found. Only through the recovery of the ancient printouts from the full STC systems has mankind scrapped together much of its knowledge and its current understanding of advanced Dark Age technology. Known STC data in use by the Imperium at present has created the ubiquitous Landspeeder, the Thunderhawk gunship, 
and the Land Raider of the Adeptus Astarte, along with last guns, starship components, and most of the other advanced technologies of the late 41st millennium. Perhaps the most important fragment of any STC led to the creation of the Land Crawler, a farming and utility vehicle that has kept the worlds of the Imperium fed since its earliest days. In the 30th millennium, techno-archaeologist Arkin Land led an expedition into the Librarius Omnius of Mars. Within, he rediscovered the STC hard copy template for the Land Raider and Land Crawler. He also discovered the templates for rare anti-gravity plates as well as recorded theories for their use. These would later be used in the development of the Landspeeder. In the same millennium, the STC designs for the Bow Predator was discovered on the planet of Antium III amidst the ruins of Archaeohertex, Lord Dalt's fortress by the Blood Angel Space Marine Legion. The Bow Pattern Predator is a specialized variant of the standard Space Marine Predator Destructor main battle tank. It is used only by the Blood Angels chapter and their successor chapters, and it is named after the Blood Angels chapter homeworld of Bow. The Blood Angels never handed the design over to the Mechanicum, as Imperial law required, and instead returned with them to their homeworld of Bow, where the original database remains to this day. Just before the outbreak of the Horus Heresy, the Warmaster Horus encountered a technologically advanced human faction known as the Artian Technocracy, who still possess some amount of standard template construct derived technologies. Having been corrupted by chaos by this time, Horus declared war on them. After a brutal conflict, Horus gifted the recovered STC technology to the Fabricator General of Mars in return for the assistance of what became the Dark Mechanicum in his war against the Emperor, but no more has been heard of since then. It is possible the recovered technology is still on Mars, hidden away and hoarded by the Adeptus Mechanicus. In the 36th millennium, the STC schematic for the Centurion was unearthed in the aftermath of the Age of Apostasy, and once sanctioned by the Adeptus Mechanicus, the vehicle produced from it would find their way into the armories of almost every Space Marine chapter. In that same millennium, the STC template for the cybernetic combat suit known as an XV Balam Ravenger and Thermal Missile Suit were discovered by the Adeptus Mechanicus, but proved too difficult to reproduce. STC fragments, called the Aegis Data Fragments, were discovered in the Calic Sector during the Androntian phase of the Angevine Crusade in the 39th millennium. They contained a few new small arm patterns, system schematics, and augury interfaces. Known schematics within these fragments included the Venerva Aegis Last Carbine, Aegis Ambark Shock Blaster Pistols, and the Energy Blade. A millennia later, the STC template for improved jet engines was discovered by the Dark Angels while hunting a suspected fallen angel known as Baelor, the Impostor, in the Nephilim Sector. Designated the Lionheart engine, the technology was used to modify older aircraft designs, and the end product was an agile aircraft with improved speed called the Nephilim Jet Fighter. This vehicle is still exclusive to the Dark Angels and their Unforgiven successor chapters. The Dark Angels also possess an STC database containing the designs for weapons known as Rift Bombs that can cause fluctuations in space and time. When faced with the inquiry by the Adeptus Mechanicus amid allegations that the chapter had illegally hoarded lost technology, in contradiction of Imperial law that required all recovered technology to be handed over to the Mechanicus, the Dark Angels adamantly denied possessing STC databases of any kind. In the beginning of the 41st millennium, an STC database template for the combat knife was discovered by two Imperial Guard scouts that proved sharper and lighter and tougher than previous designs. They were hailed as heroes by the Imperium for their discovery, and were rewarded by being raised to Imperial nobility and made planetary governors. 
The new combat knife design was adopted by 30 chapters of the Adeptus Astarte, but not all STC systems are secured by the Imperium. A large STC library was located on the planet Hito. This planet had escaped from the warp and was reclaimed by the Imperium. The library was hidden by the local clerically, Order of the Heavenly Virtues, who managed to deceive Imperial agents as to the library's existence to keep its secrets out of the Imperium's hands. A rare STC template known as Panacea contained cures for several types of common diseases and toxins. It was unearthed by the Forge world Verdigris IV. Despite the Verdigris Mechanicus' best efforts to protect it, it was stolen by the Dark Eldar, named Arila Millis and her Cabal during the Peninsia War. An STC template was found by Colonel Commissar Ibram Gaunt on the world of Menezoid Espilon during the Sabbat World Crusade. The full abilities of the device were never made clear, but it is known that the device could make the actual objects corresponding to a standard template rather than producing just a design. In this case, it made the legendary Men of Iron robotic soldiery that were considered heretical in the Imperium because they possessed true artificial intelligence. But it is possible that the STC construct also held or could create other STC designs. However, the device had been tainted by chaos and the robots it produced were misshapen monstrosities that attacked humans on sight. To prevent the use of these robots, Gaunt destroyed the device. An artifact called the Omnicopia was sought after by the Magos Delphin Gross. This device was believed to be a data storage mechanism that contained every STC schematic created during the Dark Age of Technology. Its existence became known after Delphin Gross examined numerous STC legends. He has since devoted his life to finding the artifact. In the year 998 of the 41st millennium, rumors erupted across the Imperium that the Omniscopia lay on the demon world of Hell's Teeth in the Maelstrom. Due to the immeasurable value of the device, the Adeptus Mechanicus mobilized billions of Skatari for the reclamation operation. An original STC template for a new Battle Titan, a so-called Castigator-class Automatus Bipedal Weapon Platform, created for fire support and siege operations, was discovered on the planet of Carphonia by the team of Grey Knights led by Justicar Alaric, investigating the long overrun Imperial Forge world. It was much larger than the Imperial class Emperor Titan and made use of superior technology. The STC was also discovered on the world but was unfortunately destroyed by the Grey Knights to prevent it from being stolen by the forces of chaos. And those were 40 facts about STC. Now there's going to be a discussion video that I'm going to post um, pretty soon, uh, but basically I'm going to be talking about my theory that the Tau expansion or the, the Tau growth occurred not because they were helped by the Eldar like I previously thought, but maybe because they found an STC, uh, or specifically the STC library that was spoken about in myth within the Imperium. But we'll get into that conversation tomorrow. If you guys have any tidbits that you guys would like me to know before I create that video, please comment down below. And of course, if you guys have any other suggestions as to topic ideas of Warhammer 40k that you guys would like us to create a video for, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Help us out and share this um, on Facebook or Twitter, wherever your playgroup uh, likes to uh, share things that they find that are awesome of Warhammer 40k, um, if you would please. And if you want to support us a little bit more, jump on over to Patreon. A simple dollar a month helps us create more videos for you guys. If you can't do that, that's perfectly cool. Just like, comment, and share. It really helps out. Uh, with that said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.